before we get into the video, a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy that video reaction I shot reviewing all your guys' work. So I figured we'd do another one. Only this time, you're gonna be using the footage that I shot in today's tutorial. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll go over all the details. All right guys, for the rollers, let's talk about the equipment you're gonna need. I'm gonna be using my Canon 1DX Mark II. And then you're definitely gonna to want to use a gimbal. So I'm gonna be using my Ronin M. And here is the circle grip for the Ronin M. I like using this grip because you get multiple holding points. You can hold it up here for like the low angle. And I also added these feet so I can always put it down when I'm tired. And here is our monitor. Cool, all right, let's get this thing set up. All right. This setup should be able to withstand around 60 miles an hour. If not, good luck. Good luck and just do it, yep. Okay, now for the settings, we're going to be going 4K 24 frames per second. You wanna make sure your shutter speed is at 1 50th of a second to get that natural motion blur. 24 frames per second is the most cinematic for rollers in my opinion. If it's too bright, right now I have a, I have a six stop ND filter because at 1 50th of a second shutter speed, it's gonna to be too bright. So I'm gonna throw this guy on. And of course, when you're filming cars, you're gonna to wanna to use a circular polarizer. And yes, I do stack them. So it's okay to stack them, it's fine. Stacked. All right, we're gonna balance it onto my gimbal. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I'm using a 16 to 35 f2.8 lens. You wanna definitely go as wide as you can. And it's nice to have that zoom range to 35 if you need to. So you want this to be relatively balanced without turning it on. Obviously the floor is a little uneven, so. But you want it to stay still here, and you want it to stay still here. You see how it's tilting this way? It's a little heavy on the left side. So we'll bring it back. Micro adjustments, yeah, that's good. And then now we're gonna turn it on. Nice. If you guys are wondering, the HDMI cable I use is really thin because you don't want a thick one because it's gonna be, it's gonna cause a lot of snag when you connect it to the monitor, to your camera. So you definitely want something like this. Very, very thin. Boom. We're gonna connect it to the camera. You should probably do this before turning on the gimbal, but whatever. <laughs> Everything's pretty good right now. Okay, so today we're gonna be using a Toyota 4Runner. Um, you could use, a, you can use a, a van or a truck. A lot of those work too, but today we're gonna be using a 4Runner. I like the 4Runner because it's got this window that just goes down. So it's very, very easy to film rollers. And of course you can always use the side windows, but from here you can honestly, once the window's down, I'm basically gonna stick my body out. I'm gonna rest my armpits on here. And you can get a front shot and you can get like a quarter profile shot. And if you really wanted to, you can kind of go all the way out here and get a full side profile shot. But for those shots, in my opinion, using a van with the sliding door works best. A truck is the most versatile, but obviously if a cop sees you, it's kind of hard to hide, which is why I like the 4Runner. You can always pop in and close the window, sit in and then seat belt and you're good. Let's get this guy in. Obviously, try this at your own risk. Yeah, I'm not responsible if you fuck up. This isn't the safest way to do it, but this is just how I do it. <laughs> you see how neat that is? I got a lot of space. We're gonna pop this guy out, just like that. Boom. This monitor. <laughs> you might have to do this for me, Will. <laughs> Caleb, you might have to do it for wait, me. Wait, what am I doing? 
I'll do a lot of shots where I go left to right. I'll angle it down and then point up. Quarter profile shot like that. Side profile shot. <laughs> okay, I have Brian here with the walkie talkies. We're gonna give one to the driver and then Brian's gonna have the other one and he's gonna give directions. And then we got Wilson, he's gonna be driving. Hell yeah. Now the hand signals. This means come closer. This means steady, push back. If they got too close, I'll do that. And then that signals to the driver to switch lanes. I do a lane switch while we do a lane switch. So we do like a cross and it looks pretty cool. I'll throw a thumbs up when they reach a good speed. And then I'll do this. That means fly by, just punch it through. Audio? Um, go to the lav mic. I got the Rode Wireless Go. We have the receiver and the transmitter. That's gonna melt. I think just do all wired. All wired? Yeah, just do wired all the way into the passenger seat. Yeah, so what I would normally do, I would use the wireless setup, throw the transmitter in the trunk, but the Vendador doesn't have one, so yeah, we're gonna just go all wire. But essentially what you would do is lav, transmitter, transmitter goes in the trunk, receiver goes with you, you plug the receiver end into your external recorder. You want one of these because you want to adjust the audio gain. So you can adjust the input level. Now as I tap the mic, you can see. You don't want it to peak. You don't want it to be too loud. Otherwise, it's just gonna sound like shit. There's no place to clip the transmitter. We're just gonna go full wire. If his wire is long enough, it's gonna go all the way to the passenger. It's pretty good, right? It's pretty loud. It's really loud. So since we shot the rollers and then did audio separately, we're going to sync the audio in post. You could technically do it at the same time if you don't want to sync uh, audio, but then in your footage, you're going to see the mic the shot so we're just gonna I'm just gonna try my best in editing to match the audio with the video editing contest I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna upload a link with all the footage I shot of the Lambo. You guys are gonna make a one minute edit using the beauty shots and the rollers. Use whatever music you want, but keep it at a minute or less. The deadline is end of October. Once you reach the deadline, I'm gonna review all the footage and the top and the top three winners are gonna win some sick new Spam Subi merch. 
that's about it for today's video. I'm excited to see your guys' edits. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time.